What's more important, logistics or people getting infected? What's more important, Rita? What do you think? Um, I think people getting infected. Is more important? Yeah, These I think people that need to get the, home. The they prior- need to get to their flights, boo. Yeah, but I think you know, that's I gotta play devil's advocate. more of a priority, though, because, you know, some people have died from this thing. So, But I guess it's weird because it's almost like from a jab perspective, right? I, I'm still wondering how effective this thing is and what it is that they putting in our arm. Because when I got my jab, I was out here catching it. Like I was feeling a certain type of way. I, I was not feeling good at all. I know people who had the jab and still ended up in the hospital. So what does it do? What is it supposed to do? Don't know. I had a cough for about a month and then I had to shoot out to Florida just to try to get myself together. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, but I wonder, I wonder if the employees are really sick or if they just saying that cause they don't want to come to work airlines and i want you guys to be super duper careful this holiday season airlines are canceling more than 300 holiday flights up to this point new year's eve they've canceled up to 300 uh holiday flights and they're blaming it on the omicron impact on cruise the omicron impact on cruise ladies and gentlemen so um straight from abc news as pre-pandemic level crowds hit the airports for the holiday holidays, three major U.S. airlines uh, have been forced to proactively cancel more than 300 Christmas Eve flights due to fast spreading Omicron variant of C-19. That is incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, that's, that's I can't imagine anybody being stranded on Christmas Eve and not being able to get home or get to their location for the holidays and then you know the rental car companies is going to be tight and all of that other type of stuff i gotta go and find this Rita. i don't see uh i don't see it i don't see, see the the super chat that you was talking about from nicholas yeah i don't it see it for today 150. today mm-hmm. oh we're not gonna skip that because um, on mine is showing at the top We're not going to skip that. I must have missed it. Hold on. Let me get back up there. United Airlines have canceled 169 flights for Christmas Eve as of Friday morning. Nationwide spike in Omicron cases this week has a direct. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Black Dazzle says she's going to be there. We going to L.A. We going to L.A. First class. First class. Um, Nationwide spike in Omicron cases this week has had a direct impact on our flight crews and the people who run our operation. United said, as a result, we've unfortunately had to cancel some flights and are not are, are notifying impacted customers in advance of them coming to the airport. That got to suck. Mm-hmm. Sorry for the disruption, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not just United that's feeling the impact. So check it out. Delta Airlines has canceled 124 flights for Christmas Eve. I cannot imagine trying to get home for Christmas and... You get a notification on Christmas Eve that your flight is canceled and there's nothing you can do about it. That sucks. I, I wonder where the flights are going to that they cancel now. Get in the car and drive, but But what if you're going across country? That's true. You know, I bust down that I sucks. can bust down a trip. I didn't bust down Florida in, in less than a day. What was it? Sixteen hours? Eighteen hours or some crap? I bust Something that Florida like that. trip down. I needed a car down there, yo. Uh, Delta teams have exhausted all options and resources, including rerouting and substitutions for air of aircraft and crews to cover scheduled flying before canceling around 90 flights uh, flights from Friday. Delta said to us in a statement to ABC news, we apologize for our customers for the delay in their holiday travel plans. Uh, Delta people are working hard to get them to where they need to be as quickly as safely as possible uh, on the next available flight. Alaska airlines, has resorted to offering extra pay to healthy employees who can work added shifts into this upcoming Christmas weekend. So if you're willing to sacrifice Christmas and you want to get to the bag and you want to get that overtime, Alaska Airlines said, we got you, family. We got you. All right. Um, The airline says they've had to cancel 10 Christmas Eve flights due to some of their employees quarantining. Uh, Airlines for America, the group that lobbies on behalf of all major U.S. airlines, is calling on the Centers for Disease Control 
and prevention to shorten the quarantine time for fully vaccinated individuals, saying the Omicron surge may create significant disruptions. Surge may exacerbate uh, personal shortages and create significant disruptions to our workforce and operations. Proposed isolation period to be shortened to five days from symptom onset for breakthrough infections. In turn, those individuals would be able to end isolation with an appropriate, appropriate testing protocol. Hmm. What's more important, logistics or people getting infected? What's more important, Rita? What do you think? Um, I think people getting infected. Is more important? Yeah, These I think people that need to get the, home. The they prior- need to get to their flights, boo. Yeah, but I think you know, that's I gotta play devil's advocate. more of a priority, though, because... You know, some people have died from this thing, so. But I guess it's weird because it's almost like from a jab perspective, right? I'm still wondering how effective this thing is and what it is that they putting in our arm. Because when I got my jab, I was out here catching it. Like, I was feeling a certain type of way. I I was not feeling good at all. I know people who had the jab and still ended up in the hospital. So what does it do? What is it supposed to do? Don't know. I had a cough for about a month. And then I had to shoot out to Florida just to try to get myself together. Yep. Mm. Interesting. Hey, but I wonder I wonder if the employees are really sick or if they just saying that because they don't want to come to work. Well, they saying it's because they, they actually want to work, but they quarantining though, right? Part of the story is that they quarantining and then other people are getting infected and stuff. I do know a lot of people that's hit right now. Like, it's, I know a lot of people. Well, not a lot because I don't have a really huge circle. But a bunch of people that I know are kind of toe up and they sick. And some of them don't necessarily have the vid. But a lot of them are just sick in general. And I don't know if it's because of the weather. Well, I mean, it is still cold and flu season. People forget that since this whole C thing has came about like this is still you know it's allergies all of that stuff so this is like technically cold and flu season so but I'm still wondering what the pisses are supposed to do like they keep sending out booster shots and test kits and all of this other type of stuff and I'm still trying to figure out well what does it mean you know what I'm saying like honestly when we got it last year early last year I hadn't been having no problems I hadn't gotten sick since then None of that. Sure. Like, we just got it. We we knocked that junk out. We got it, like, February, March, or whatever, when it first came out in 2020. Yep. Had the antibodies, was rocking. And ever since then, we was cool. Like, we haven't had any problems whatsoever. And then uh, now, all of a sudden, we're supposed to get jabbed and people still going to the hospital? Yep. It's all crazy, if you ask me. Interesting. 